So there's every possibility we're not going to be at City next season because we possibly won't get up to 35 crosses, which is in fact very dumb. But oh well. We do have Chelsea, Real Madrid, Aston Villa and Arsenal to consider. So till then. Newcastle still sits first while we're trailing behind them with two points. But this match determines if we will be getting ahead of them or not. After the Newcastle match, we have the final group stage match of the Champions League against Panathinaikos. Then back to the Premier League with Brentford, Bournemouth, Wolves, Nottingham, followed by our first FA Cup match of the season against Shrewsbury Town. I think it's called Shrewsbury Town. Then the final match of the episode against Leicester City. The team is kind of low on energy, but we move. Let's see how we do against Newcastle. The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. And a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. That's the, case. the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Can he finish? Great defending. Well, from a long way out, not really making good use of that free kick situation. Perfect. Ball one. De Bruyne with options. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Bernardo Silva. He has teammates around him. De Bruyne in the centre. Can they keep it out? Half time here at St James's Park. Yeah. It's a goal for Bournemouth. It was all in the build up play for me. So many different players involved. And once the space opened up, he took his chance superbly. Here's Isa. Gonna get a try. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Facing Aston Villa. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium. Oh, look at this. They must score. And pure instinct from the keeper. Need to get tighter here. He got a good palm on it. Well, will Newcastle get another opportunity? That was probably their biggest chance. Oh, Stewart's a chance. Well, it's the late show. And they are level again. And making his move inside. Must take the lead here. And they do. And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. And so the referee blows for full time. And it's disappointment for Manchester City. A defeat for them. Your assessment of the performance. So we tried, but as usual, it's not enough. We lost the match, and because of that, we are back down to third. With Arsenal now two points ahead of us, and Newcastle five points clear. Next up, we have Panathinaikos. We're already through to the round of 16, so we're just going to be simming the match. We end up with a 3-1 win. No goal. Not a good match for Levchenko, but it's the win that matters. Levchenko's birthday is in two weeks. I have zero idea if he's turning 20 or 21. But still, though, we go bowling with our teammates. And well, we get ourselves a sports car for our birthday, but back to business. Brentford in a couple days, we happen to be fourth position, and even now that I'm editing, I still have no clue how that happened, but we move. Before the match, let's see how much Levchenko has done in his career. 58 goals and 17 assists in 75 games. That's 75 goals and assists in total in just 75 games. And he's just in his second season. That is fucking crazy. Let's see if this would inspire us to have a good match against Brentford. And it actually does. We get a brace and I guess the floodgates should be open now. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. No goal against Bournemouth and a draw at that, which is annoying. New playstyle unlocked and I selected a long ball pass playstyle. Next up, we have Wolves and I'm going to be playing the full match. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you all after the match. Kickoff time is almost upon us. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? Today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. The possibilities inside the box. Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? Well, a decent effort, but not quite on the target.
Delivered into the box. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. see this is absolutely brilliant he's such a good runner with the ball and it's a great individual goal brilliant from him De Bruyne oh off the post still alive Just Alvarez Holland the supporters want to see him have a go Erling Holland and a goal this time Applying the finishing touch, just what the doctor ordered. He's so alive to the rebound. He's first to react and then he gets his reward. It's a good goal. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Ben Diaz. Rodri. Zaki. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Holland, and it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, Hakimi's cross is played into a really dangerous area, and Holland made the finish look easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams. Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And Holland wasn't going to miss that one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. What a well constructed goal. He deliver it with accuracy. Well, there's the final whistle, and Manchester City have come out on top in this game. Your verdict? Really, really great match. Scored two goals and assisted Haaland's hat-trick goal. Really earned ourselves the man of the match for this one. Next up, we went 3-2 away from home against Nottingham Forest, and Levchenko scores again. And with all that, Levchenko gets his fourth player of the month award and his second at City. Next up is our first FA Cup match for City against Shrewsbury. Heading for a showdown. Two teams who thrive on pressure and performing on the big occasion. Could be threatening. And the chance is on. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Nice weight on the pass. A matter of keeping his composure. And now the goal the City fans wanted to see. It's hard to see them throwing this away. This to pull one back. And he finds the net. No difficulties encounter. Chance to equalise here. And in it goes. As coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Can he put them in front? Oh, it's astonishing. One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? The final whistle then, and Manchester City progress. Of course, EA tried to rob us, giving them two stupid ass penalties in the room. But Levchenko was having none of that, and my personal favourite was him pulling out the Haaland celebration after he scored that goal. All objectives completed, and yet another man of the match award for Levchenko. Next up is the match against our former team, Leicester City, and of course, if Levchenko scores, he's going to celebrate. 8.5 match rating, one assist on goal, and a 25% cross success rate of objectives for this match. Let's go. And this is the scene here at the King Power Stadium in Leicester. It is, I'm delighted to be able to report, a beautiful day for football. Hakimi. Can they stop it going in? Oh, majestic finish! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Magnificent!
Citizens. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Grealish. Opportunity it is. And a goal it is for Manchester City. They are the team on course for victory. Defending really well. And options in the centre. And a significant block following that cross. We've seen a goal in the Spurs game, Alex. It's a goal for Villa. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. They're back in this now with 69 minutes played. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. of live football EA TV and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you it's Manchester City facing and he's through here and a goal to settle the issue once and for all well here it is again it's a wonderful pass from Foden and his movement's so clever once he gets onto it there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible what a good goal Bernardo Silva on to Haaland. Can he finish this? Oh, that is a super save. Well, he... Rodri. Long-range effort. And I think, unfortunately for him, the less said about that attempt, the better. Well, he... And that is that full time here and a win for City. Good match from City. Good match from Lechego. And of course, he scores. One of the match, again, and that's three in a row. He won the award for all the matches in January. Come on, tell me that means he's winning his fifth player of the month. Anyways, we are back to where we were at the beginning of the episode. Second place and two points behind Newcastle. We're getting nominated for January player of the month along with De Bruyne. And all right, it was a horrible start to the episode, but we were able to redeem ourselves. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Drop your comment of what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.